Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys the best export settings in Premiere Pro for your Instagram videos. All right, guys, so we're gonna create a new sequence in Premiere Pro here. Now, as you can see, it's gonna make it 1920 by 1080. I strictly post my music video work on Instagram. So what I like to do, I like to go up to sequence, sequence settings, make sure it's 24 frames per second. And then I like to change this to 1080 by 1350, which makes it this ratio here. The reason why I like this ratio so much is because it's the closest way possible to get a full screen while being able to do slides at the same time, because I like to show my timeline and then a bunch of before and after after effects. So you guys can do this if you want to do slides, but if you just want to do one single video clip, I recommend doing 1080 by 1920. And then you guys will get this Instagram reels format. So I'm going to change that back. All right. Now, once we're in, we're going to drag and drop the music video in. And then we're going to select keep existing settings and boom, you guys will have a clip looking just like that. As you can see, it's hella zoomed in. So we're going to go to effect controls and scale it out. I do most of my videos in four by three, but for this Instagram ratio stuff, I'll just scale it in like this. All right. So we're going to hit I on our keyboard for in. Let's say we want to end it right about here. We're going to hit O. And then we're going to press Control M on our keyboard. All right, now we're going to go to where we want it to save. We're going to double click on the file and save it in there. Now, this is where it gets interesting. You guys can name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Instagram export. We're going to go to video. Make sure you guys have H.264 selected. We're going to hit more here. We're going to hit render at maximum depth and then pay attention to this file size right here. You guys want to make sure you have it to VBR one pass and then see this target bit rate. We're going to go up and we're going to set it to the point where the video clip is just under 20 megabytes. So we have 19 megabytes there. From my knowledge, once a clip goes over 20 megabytes, the Instagram starts to compress it and it makes your videos look really, really ass. Also, another super helpful tip, guys, is if you go into settings and you go over to your account, you go to data usage, and then you guys can turn on upload at the highest quality. And it says right below it, always upload the highest quality videos, even if the uploads take longer. When this is off, we'll automatically adjust the upload quality to fit network conditions. So what this basically means is if you don't have this on and you're uploading on data or shit Wi-Fi, it will actually compress press the video to make it look worse. So make sure you guys have that turned on and follow these settings. If you guys want to save these settings, you go to these three dots here, save preset, and we can call it IG export. But just make sure at the same time too, you're bringing the slider up and down to account for the estimated file size here to make it just under 20 megabytes per second. If you guys enjoyed this video, I recommend checking out the best export settings for your music videos. And we also have this really cool music video effect here where I turn a music video into an anime. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.